Hi everyone, here's Marcel Campos and I'm going to do something really nice today. I'm going to show you Zenfone 3 from inside and I know you guys would like to take a look inside the product and you know it's not easy to open, it actually needs a lot of different kinds of tools to open but I open already and I want to show you how beautiful the product is inside already. Let's take a look. Well, the first thing is like this Gorilla Glass part you're gonna see it's quite thin you see it really really thin because it's so thin and I want to keep also the product thin we make it with this kind of special industrial uh, stickers so to put it in and to put it out you need to heat it up so I don't recommend you guys to do that at home it's really really thin really strong actually the first thing we notice this is the 5.5 inches Zenfone 3 and we can see here is this cable. I just attached this cable from this part, which is an antenna connection from the main motherboard to the daughter motherboard. Uh, and in the middle, you can see the 3000 milliampere battery. Uh, let me take this out to make things easier, right? So then, taking this out, you can notice that we have access to these two flat cables here, which are this black part. And you can see the metal body, which is a unibody building for this product which makes it, it really strong uh, not only strong but also beautiful because we use that in several ways to make it better the second thing is this like plastic part here it's not only protecting this data board but also it has the speaker which is much bigger and much better than the previous generation of Zenfone 2 putting the speaker aside we have access to this data board you can see now the flat cable how it connects here and goes down it's basically totally thin, it's thinner than, than paper and actually you have access also to the Type-C connector you can see here, this is the Type-C connector you can use in both ways also you can see here, this is like the, the VibraCrawl uh, module so every time you have something that vibrates uh, it's from this little guy here and this one is from different kind of levels of vibration so it can be a soft level or it can be a mid level of vibration or even a high level of vibration so you can choose which one you want and this can be choose by the software or even by you depends on the specs and configurations you put on it moving on i'm gonna take this part out this is a protection part for the main board and you can see here this kind of glass but actually it's not glass uh, this is sapphire and sapphire actually is one of the hardest things in, in the world not as hard as a diamond for sure but quite hard enough to not have scratches it's used for high-end uh, uh, watches and it's very good for, to protect the camera lenses here so you don't have any scratch or really hard to have scratches here so the pictures will be always perfect and clear you also can see here is the fingerprint sensor i'm going to show you here in the back it's quite thin quite small and it connects to the board right over here so putting this aside let's go for the main board as i told you i opened this before what you can see here is the back part of the main board actually i'm going to show you the front part which is this side and you can see the front 8 megapixel camera and the sensors for the front and here is protect the radio module and also the processor and memory and gpu everything's like protecting inside and here this is the tray for your sim cards so you can see how it's thin and this time you can see there is like sim 1 sim 2 and the sd card over there so basically this goes inside here so the space is quite compact for everything right so let's put this in this way i want to show you here three points actually you can see this from the outside I'm gonna put it here so you can notice what I'm talking about. We have those two dots here, which basically are the dual LED, and then there is this third sensor here, this third dot here. What is it all about? Actually, these are the dual LED flash, and here we have the sensor. This is a white balance measure uh, sensor. It can measure the colors and make more realistic. So those realistic colors will reflect in your pictures with more vibrant and more um, really close to the real colors you have in any light condition so that's why we put this kind of sensor here this sensor here you don't find in any phone actually it's quite hard to find this kind of sensor in phones today uh, basically you can find in some really high-end tablets and 
And to be honest, even some very high-end cameras may have it. So moving on to inside, putting the main board to the side, we have the camera here. This is a uh, 16 megapixel camera for Zenfone 3. Uh, it's a Sony sensor, so the quality is really incredible in terms of pictures. And you can see how thick it is, the camera sensor here, the module. And that's why, because we put it together, not only the camera and the lenses and the CMOS, which composed all the camera parts, but also we put it here, the optical image stabilization, OIS, that moves, I'm going to show you, it moves, you see, to any direction here, even going a little bit down and out. So the point here is, this is physical kind of stabilization. So your pictures and your moves, they will be really, really smooth without all those kind of shakes, you know. And even on the video, we also put it together, not only the physical stabilization module, but also we are putting the, the electronic one, so optical and electronic and working together to have the best videos for you. And when you look here, you can see like all the places for all small, tiny parts. And you can see how is the unibody metal it's built it on, how thin it is, especially in parts like this. And you can imagine this is like a CNC machine, so it's a sculpture inside the, the aluminum metal. And then you can have all those screws. So those parts, they actually are not glued here or, or they, try, they try any kind of melting process, no. This actually is like carving here, so you can have this really high-end, very details inside, which make it really, really thin. And you can see the panel over there that is more reflect side, and the metal here, which make like one body only with the metal, which is quite strong and quite thin. Check it out, how thin it is. So the panel only, the front part and the metal is like 50% of this thickness. The other 50%, will be the parts that go inside like the battery and the PCB modules and cameras and so on and so forth. This is the Zenfone 3, one of the most beautiful and powerful smartphones in the market. I hope you all enjoyed this video and look for this product very soon in India and many other places. Okay, thank you very much.